again? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hi, my name is Domine. Uh, Dex you write Dexter as Dexter, or is it in the inspiration came from the book, actually, or it was just a coincidence as you went that way at that point? The question was, what influence perhaps the, the books have on the directions you take in the series? Only um, the very first season, um, uh, we optioned the book and we really took the, what we call the origin <laughs> story, which is sort of finding out where Dexter came from and, and, and the Rudy being revealed as his brother, that was pulled from the book, but from that <clears throat> season on, we have based it year, year after year on, on, on what's happened in Dexter's life the previous year. It's been all original work from our writers. Speaking of the origin story, seeing little Harrison in that pool of blood at the end of the last season was one of the most shattering images I've ever seen on television. It was great stuff. And I would like to talk to that baby's parents and what, 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 what the hell were you thinking? Producers, all of the producers, could you talk a little bit about uh, the producing aspect of the show in terms of creating and maintaining an atmosphere where the cast and crew can flourish, as seems to be the case on the show? You know, um, I really, the, the uh, atmosphere at this place, I say this coming in from the outside, is. is it sounds silly, but it really is like a big happy family. Uh, we have these table reads that are kind of joyous, and um, I think it comes from the set and probably from Michael. Um, Mandy and I came from a very different environment at uh, our last job, and um, I gotta believe it comes from that guy there. I remember in this panel last year, John Lithgow said it was one of the most pleasant experiences, set, as pleasant sets he's ever been on, and, and that guy's been around, so it's kind of a nice compliment. And if he doesn't win an Emmy, by the way, there's, there's no chance for that work last season. Um, this one's to Michael and Jennifer. Um, my name's Berlin, and I was just wondering, what was your favorite twist in Dexter? Um, well, the, the twist at the end of the fourth season uh, was pretty, but definitely up there. I think my favorite twist is yet to come. I'm really uh, wanting to know how Deb's going to react to finding out. What's the process like when you find these things out? Are you reading the script literally and then that's the first time you... You see it, or do, you, do, we, do the story ideas plot it out far enough in advance? You kind of know what's coming. How does that discovery happen? It's varied uh, from season to season. And to, uh, I mean, in the first season, I think because it was based on the book, we all had a maybe more specific sense of where things were headed. And some seasons more than others. Um, some seasons have felt felt more sort of like stuck toward a master plan. Others have felt more improvisational. Um, but I think we have sense of, a sense of the broad strokes, but as actors, it's, it's nice to be surprised by the specifics. You know, every script is definitely a page turner. <laughs> Jennifer, do you ever read a script and something just catches you completely out of left field and you didn't see coming? Yes, and especially this year. I've lied in seasons past that I didn't know anything, but this year I really don't know anything. And I haven't been nervous all day, and as soon as you start talking about surprises coming, my heart started racing, so thanks. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Okay, you're next. Hello, my name is Aaron, and this question is uh, for Mr. Paul. Because uh, I know you're the executive producer on the show as well, and I was wondering, what was uh, the inspiration for uh, the Frankie Valley Vera song? Um, I don't know. Thank you for assuming I would. <laughs> Buddy. Well, yes, it, 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 it was one of Trinity's 
favorite songs because it evoked a period in his life. To be a part of the experience, and we've just been extremely fortunate to have wonderful actors on the show and wonderful actors who want to be part of the experience of the show. So it's great. Wonderful writers who write stuff wonderful that parts for actors it. rarely get uh, to, to act. Peter Weller's playing a character that was actually part of our original pitch to Showtime, and we called him Weller. So oddly, we had to change the name once we got the actor that we wanted. Which has been difficult. And uh, in the case of Julia Stiles, she's uh, never done television before. So for her, this is a, a real departure, and we're very excited to be the inaugural experience for that. That's great. Okay, next. Hi, my name is uh, John. I just want to say, uh, James, great job for a Mortal Kombat and also as a... Uh, oh. What? Whoa. 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 We just had that person killed who asked that question. <laughs> Have to be John Lithgow, um, but gosh, I mean, there's so many. I, I've, I've enjoyed all the people I've killed. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, you know, the, the 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 relationship that John and I got to move through was pretty cool. Jennifer, how about you? Keep carrying. Hi. Um, everyone in the room will agree that John Matthew was amazing last season. 